Hello and welcome to Code Tutorials. In this video, we are going to talk about embedding Google Sheets in WordPress. During the course of this video, we'll be showing you how to embed Google Sheets in WordPress using Google Drive and how to embed Google Sheets in WordPress using a plugin. So at the end, you'll be able to pick which method you prefer and apply it to your own site. So let's get started. Adding Google Sheets to your pages and posts with Google Drive is very simple. You just need to get the iframe link and add it to your website. Don't worry, I'll be explaining everything in detail. By the way, you can follow the same steps I'm about to show you for embedding Google Docs or slides or drawings in WordPress. However, Google Forms require a slightly different method, so the following steps won't be able to help you with them. The first thing you need to do is make sure the Google Sheet or Sheets that you want to embed are published and available for everyone to see. To do that, head over to your Google Drive and open the document you wish to embed. Here in the top left corner, click on the File option and then select Publish to the Web. In this pop-up, you need to select the Embed tab. This will allow us to get the iframe link. Here we have an option that lets us choose whether to publish the entire document or just particular sheets from it. Also, if you'll be updating or making changes to the document you're about to publish and embed, you can make sure those changes will become promptly visible on your site as well. To do that, open Publish Content and Settings and make sure that the option to automatically republish when changes are made is checked. Inversely, if you don't want new changes to the sheet to be visible on your site, then simply uncheck this option. When you're done, just press the Publish button, confirm you're sure, and you'll get the shareable iframe link. Then copy the iframe code you get and go to your admin dashboard. Now you need to navigate to Pages and depending on whether you're adding the Google Sheet to an existing or a new page, go to Add New or All Pages. I'll be using a new page so we aren't distracted by existing elements and you can see everything better. So Add New. Here we are on the page and I want to show you how to add this iframe link using several different page editors. The easiest one is the classic editor. Simply paste the link in the text editing box. Then update or publish your page. After that, we can open the permalink to check the page front end. There it is. Now, this display is relatively small, so let me show you how you can adjust it. In the article version of this tutorial, you can find the CSS properties you need to adjust your Google Sheet display. So, the example we have here will let us display the sheet as 300 pixels tall and 1100 pixels wide. I'm simply going to copy this section of the code and go back to my page. Paste it before the right angle bracket of the opening tag. Now I'm keeping the 300 and 1100 pixel values for my sheet as they fit well with my page grid. However, you can change this easily by changing the numbers you add. Now, let me update the page and we can check the front again. Refresh. And there we are. My Google Sheet display is now 300 by 1100 pixels. Alright, now let's see how things work with other page editors, like Gutenberg for example. But first, I'll go back and copy this code with my custom display dimensions. That way I don't have to keep adding them to my link every time. Ok, so here we are in the Gutenberg page editor. To start embedding your Google Sheets, you first need to click here to add a block. The one we'll be adding is called Custom HTML. Ok, select it. And once it's on your page, simply paste the link in the HTML field. Save the change by updating and let's see how our page looks now. Great, my Google Sheet added with Gutenberg editor is here. Now, let's see how things would work with a front-end editor like Elementor. Spoiler alert, not much different. So, back on our page, I'm going to remove the Gutenberg block and then activate editing with Elementor by pressing this button here. Then, let's create a new section where we can add our element. Ok, you don't need more than one column for the layout, especially if the sheet you're embedding has a lot of columns. Ok, the element we'll be using is custom HTML. So let me find it. OK, and I'll just drag it over. Once you've positioned your element, go to its options in the sidebar and paste the iframe link in this field here. 
and update. Now let's see how this looks on the actual live page. And there, we've successfully added the Google Sheet document to our website. Our embedded Google Sheet is 200 pixels wide and 350 pixels tall. Another way of embedding Google Sheets in WordPress is by using plugins. While you'll get several results if you try searching WordPress plugins for help with embedding Google Sheets, we recommend using the Embed Press plugin. It lets you embed Google Sheets, Docs, Slides, Forms, Drawings, Maps, and more. To start using the plugin, we first need to add it to our website. So from your admin dashboard, go to Plugins, Add New, and look for Embed Press. Then click on Install. And when that's done, click to activate the plugin. Now that the plugin is active, we can see the Embed Press section in our menu. OK, so let's head back to Google Drive now. We need to make sure the document we want to embed is published. So, File, Publish to the Web. Then select the Link tab and click on the green Publish button. Mine isn't active anymore because I already published this document earlier in the video. Also, if you'd like the embedded document to automatically republish when changes are made, you need to make sure this option here stays enabled. Now, copy the link you get and go back to your WordPress dashboard. Find the page where you want to embed your Google Sheet, open it, and paste the link in the Visual Editor window of the Classic Editor. Then update the page and check the front. And there we are. Now, let me show you the steps if you prefer using Gutenberg. Go back to your dashboard. I'll simply add a new one as it's easier to show you. OK, now you should click on the plus symbol to add a new block. Search for Embed Press and select the appropriate Google document type from the ones you see here. We are adding Sheets, so Google Sheets. Now we have the Google Sheet block on our page and we just need to paste the Google Sheets URL in this field. Then press the Embed button. And update the page so you can check if your Google Sheet is now added to your website. Let's see. There it is. Alright. For those of you using Elementor, we are going to show you the steps for using Embed Press plugin with it now. So, go to the page where you want to embed your Google Sheet. I'll just delete this first, one sec. OK. Once you're on the page, click to edit it with Elementor. Add a section and click to choose an element. Then search for Embed Press among your available elements and add it to your page. Then simply paste the link you copied from Google Sheets in the Embedded Link field. Update your page and then go check the front. There it is, my Google Sheet document added with the help of the Embed Press plugin. And that's all folks. Thank you for watching. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you'd like to learn more about WordPress, feel free to follow us on any of our social media channels.